it's Liv. Today I have three easy vegan weeknight dinners for you. So these are dinners for when you get home from school or work and you want to cook something that's not going to take a ton of ingredients, a ton of prep, or a ton of time. So if you want to save even more time, then I suggest buying pre-cut vegetables, but keep in mind that those are often more expensive. But yeah, this video is pretty self-explanatory and that's everything I have to say for now, so let's get into it. <laughs> So for the noodles, you just need some vermicelli rice noodles and you're going to put them in a big bowl of water and just let them soak while you do the other things. In a small bowl, add one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of maple syrup, and a pinch of smoked paprika. Then give it a stir and I cut up some chunks of tempeh into small little strips or little rectangles and I just marinated those in the soy sauce mixture while I did everything else. So I set that aside with the noodles and went and cut up my vegetables. So the vegetables I used were some sliced portobello mushrooms, some snow peas, some sliced red bell pepper, some carrots that I peeled with a julienne peeler to make them really small and thin, and some green onions. And then I also had these bean sprouts. In a medium frying pan, add a teaspoon of oil and just pan fry the pieces of tempeh until they are a bit crispy. Then just add the mushrooms and red bell peppers and pan fry those for about two minutes until they get a little bit softened. And then you're going to add the carrots, a tablespoon of curry powder, a quarter teaspoon of ginger, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half teaspoon of turmeric. Then you can add in the soaked noodles and give that a stir so that they get all coated in the spices and they should be a pretty bright yellow color from the curry and the turmeric. And then you're going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce. You can add more if you want it more salty, um, but this was a good amount for me. Then near the very end, you're going to add in the snow peas so that they stay crispy and the green onions. And then right before serving, like 30 seconds before you serve it, you can add in a bunch of bean sprouts. And these should stay pretty crisp, but they're so good. I love them in this, and it really makes it taste like restaurant vermicelli, if you've ever had this dish at a restaurant. And that's the finished product. So for me, pizza is the ultimate fast weeknight dinner. What I, well, what my family used to do is get these pre-made pizza crusts and just check the ingredients to make sure it's vegan. And then I just cut up a portobello mushroom into slices and also a tomato into slices. And then I used a store-bought sauce, but if you want to make your own, just mix some tomato sauce with basil, oregano, thyme, and parsley. And then you're just going to spread that out in a thin layer and add your toppings. I'm pretty sure we all know how to make pizza, but what I put on mine was the portobello mushrooms, tomatoes, spinach, And then I chose to use vegan cheese, but if you don't like eating faux cheese products, then you can use tofu ricotta. I put a link to a tofu ricotta recipe in the description box, but you can also use nutritional yeast or just leave it plain. It's gonna taste good no matter what, but I just love this day of cheese. So it doesn't melt exactly the same as dairy cheese, but I promise it still tastes amazing and the texture is awesome. So yeah, I love this pizza. So for the tempeh, you are going to just put it either in a frying pan or I used a panini press with grill plates and I just put some strips of tempeh into the grill and closed it and just let it get a little bit grilled and crispy. Then you're going to add two tablespoons of hummus, a tablespoon of vegan mayo or another tablespoon of hummus and a teaspoon of maple syrup and just stir that around. 
And then you're going to add about a tablespoon or two of water just to thin it out and make it more like a dressing consistency. Then just get a bunch of chopped and washed kale and toss it in the dressing. And then I just topped mine with some pieces of tempeh and some nutritional yeast. And it sounds super simple and almost a bit plain, but I promise it tastes amazing. It's so flavorful with the hummus and yeah, I know you'll like it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions or any video requests, leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you guys next time.